2024 has been a bad year for mouse cards so far. First, the DBS Women's card was nerfed, UOB Ladies card nerfed, City Rewards card nerfed, Grab Pay card nerfed. Nah, no one cares. And the latest card to be nerfed is the HSBC Revolution card. Nerfs, nerfs everywhere. If you find it hard to keep up with all the nerfs, no worries, because in this video, I'll be sharing what's my new mouse card strategy for 2024 to earn the most amount of mouse possible for each category. And as a bonus, I've also compiled everything that I'll be sharing in this video into this super detailed table, which you can download for free. Link down below, yeah? Also, do join my 8,000 members Telegram chat group to discuss or ask any questions that you may have. All right, let's start with the HSBC Revolution card first, which awards for mouse per dollar on selected categories. The bad news, this card has been nerfed not once, but twice this year. The good news, the card is still quite useful for your day-to-day -day spend. For example, first, you can still use the card for contactless payments, such as shopping at departmental stores and retail stores, like buying clothes at Uniqlo, ah, buying TV at Courts, ah, and so on. Second, you can still use it to pay for dining. However, avoid using it at fast food restaurants and any merchants that are not restaurants but sell food, such as 7-Eleven, Cheers, Yu Yan San, and so on. Besides that, this card is also good for online shopping, ride hailing, and air tickets. However, because it has removed two travel-related MCCs, you will now no longer earn points for travel-related agencies as well as hotel bookings on some sites. So if you aren't sure which merchants qualify for 4 miles per dollar, you can either check via Haymax or just avoid using this card for travel-related categories altogether just to be safe. The second card is the City Rewards card. As you can see from this list, this card is super versatile, especially when you pair it with Instagram Amaze. Because once you do the pairing, uh, this card is now good for both online and offline spends. For example, it gives 4 miles to dollar on contactless payments, dining, grocery, online shopping, food delivery, ride hailing, telco bill, and even Chris Plus. On top of that, you will also earn an extra 0.5% cashback on the MS card when you spend on foreign currency transactions, such as your overseas spends or your Taobao spends where the currency is not in SGD. So this is a pretty powerful card. Hopefully they don't go and nerf this next, yeah? Though, this card has two downsides. One, it excludes travel related categories, such as public transport, air ticket, and hotels. So avoid using it to book your holiday stuff, yeah? Also, a side effect of this is, even though it awards points for dining, you won't be able to earn four miles a dollar if you dine at restaurants that are in hotels. So just take note. The second downside is that if you are paying via the AMS card, you need to be careful not to spend more than $1,000 a month. Otherwise, MS will cap you with a 1% fee if you overspend. Moving on, UOB Preferred Platinum Visa Card, which awards 4 miles per dollar on most of your day-to-day -day spend, such as contactless payments, dining, grocery, online shopping, and food delivery. It even awards points when you use it to pay for hawker food via the SNAP app. However, the downside of this card is that you won't earn miles if you spend at UOB dollar merchants. For those who do not know, UOB has this UOB dollar program, where if you shop at specific merchants such as Canadian Pizza, Cold Storage, Giant, Guardian, instead of earning miles, you will earn cashbacks in the form of UOB dollar instead. The other downside is that this card has a $5 spending block. So if you spend $9.99, it will round your spending down to the nearest $5. So you will earn points on just your $5 and the remaining amounts won't earn any points. Quick pause. Did you know that Weibo has one of the most competitive pricing on the market? For the US market, during regular and extended hours, they are only charging a very low fee of 0.025% of the trade amount, with a minimum of just 50 cents. And for overnight hours, they are charging 0.03% of total trade amount, with a minimum of 89 cents. For the SGS market, they are also charging a low fee of just 0.05% of the trade amount with a minimum of $1.60. Or if you are a new user, you will get to enjoy commission-free trades for SG stock trading for 3 years. For the Hong Kong and China markets, they are charging a super low 0.02% to 0.03% with a minimum of $12. And if you are an US options trader, you'll be glad to know that Weibo is just charging 55 cents per contract with no minimum. Besides the low fees, for the US market, Weibo also supports US fractional shares, which means you can start investing with as little as 5 US dollars. And for the Singapore market, 
Reboot supports odd lot order, which means instead of having to buy a minimum of 100 shares, you can just buy one share of eligible SGX stocks. Right now, Reboot is running a few promotions. For the welcome promo, if you make an initial deposit of 500 US dollars or more into your accounts and complete one US buy trade, you first get five free Nvidia shares worth $10 to $500 each. And for my viewers who use my exclusive link to sign up, you will also get two additional Nvidia shares. Next, you can get up to $2,950 worth of Nvidia shares by depositing $100,000 US dollars, complete 10 US buy trades, and fulfill the maintain requirements. Or subscribe at least $100,000 to Moneyboo and maintain the funds till the end of July 2024. Lastly, there's a new transfer in promo from which you could get up to another $10,000 worth of Nvidia shares and 3 month commission free trades for US stock trading. This is eligible for both new and existing users who sign up with my link in April, initiate and successfully transfer more than $5,000 worth of shares to Weibo. With that being said, let's get back to the video. The next card is the DBS Women's World card, which is available for men too. This card is extremely good for your online spends as it awards 4 more to dollar on almost every online category such as online shopping, food delivery, ride hailing, telco bills, air tickets, hotels. Plus, you can also use it to pay via the Chris Plus app and the Snap app. While this card's rewards cap has been nerfed from $2,000 down to just $1,500, it is still a pretty high cap. This is especially good for travel-related categories as you will usually spend hundreds of dollars on your flights and hotel bookings. However, this card comes with two downsides. One, the points are awarded in $5 blocks, so you will sometimes miss some points here and there. And two, the points have a super short one-year expiry date, so you will need to keep transferring the points out every year. Otherwise, the points might accidentally expire and you will owe oh, oh, out. Next, the standard chartered smart card. Okay, even though this card seems super limited, there are a few good reasons for getting this card. One, it is one of the rare cards that awards miles for public transport category. And the miles that it awards is also super generous yeah, coming in at 5.6 miles per dollar. And of course, it also covers selected fast food restaurants, coffee and toast, and digital subscriptions. The second reason is that this card doesn't charge any annual fee and has no minimum spend. So there's really no reason not to get this card. Next, the UOB Ladies card. The reason I got this card was due to its amazing 6 miles to dollar promo. But now that it has gone back down to 4 miles to dollar, is this card still good? Personally, I think yes. Here's why. So even though this card requires you to select one category in order to earn the bonus points, this card is actually a rather good backup card. For example, if you always spend more than $1,000 on your City Rewards card, ah, then you can shift the extra spending to the UOB Ladies card. But more importantly, because you are able to pair this card with Instagram Amaze, all of a sudden, this card becomes good for overseas spends. Like if you choose the dining category, then it is good for dining overseas. Or if you choose the transport category, then it is good for overseas car rental. Besides that, the other benefit of this card is that it qualifies for the UOB1 spend criteria, which by the way, is the only eligible mouse card on the list. So if your main account is the UOB1 account, I guess there's another reason to keep the card. However, since it's a UOB card, it comes with a standard UOB card downsides, such as you will earn points in $5 blocks and you need to be careful with UOB dollar merchants. Lastly, the UOB Pre Mouse Visa card. This card only awards a rather low 1.4 mouse to dollar on most categories. So even though it qualifies for almost every category on this list, I wouldn't use it as my main card. Instead, this card is good for two reasons. One, this card allows me to earn miles on categories that are usually excluded, like education, income tax, insurance, and so on. So the way I do it is to pay for those categories while card up and earn miles. Yes, there will be fees, but I find that it's still worth it as I value miles at 1.47 cents per mile. So as long as I'm able to buy miles at a lower cost than that, then it's worth it. For example, currently Cardup has a promo where if you use my code when paying for income tax, you'll be buying mouse at 1.23 CPM. The second reason as to why this card is good is because this card awards 6 miles per dollar when you book your air tickets and hotels through Agoda's and Expedia's special landing page. Plus, since it doesn't have a rewards cap, 
you can spend a few thousand dollars and not have to worry about going past your cap. So that was a list of cards that I'm currently using. Obviously, if you are new to the mouse game, you don't have to get every single card on this list. So here's how I would rank them. The most important card on this list is the City Rewards card, paired with Instagram Amiss. With it, you will cover almost every category on this list, except for travel. So if you can get only one card, this is the card you should go for. The second most important card would be the DBS Women's World card, as it helps to cover the rest of the categories which are not covered by City Rewards card, specifically travel-related categories and SNAP. And lastly, the third card would be the Standard Chartered Smart card, since it covers the public transport category. With these three cards, you are already good to go. Then, if you need to add any more cards to further optimize your mouse game, you can just add other cards as you go along. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, you found this useful. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.